These flying Pokemon soar above the competition. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 flying type Pokemon. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most well-known flying Pokemon in the shows and games. Our focus will not be exclusively on their stats, but also how iconic they are. You might see a couple of fan favorites a little lower on the list, but that's because we more so associate them with their different typing rather than being synonymous with flying types. Number 10, Aerodactyl. This ancient rock flying dinosaur from the original generation is as fast as it is fierce. Blessed with blistering speed even amongst flying type Pokemon, it has been said to enjoy tearing out the throats of its enemies. For these reasons, it has been used by countless trainers in the original games to become Pokemon Masters. <laughs> A staple throughout the anime series since the show began, it received a further boost from the release of the Mega Stones, as Mega Aerodactyl is as threatening as it ever has been. Number 9, Star Raptor. This brave bird is reckless. Star Raptor's hidden ability boosts the damage it delivers while also hurting itself. Paired with its potent attacks, this Pokemon is notoriously hard hitting as one of the most physically powerful birds in the game. A staple of Ash's team in the Diamond and Pearl series, Star Raptor is featured in a classic mid battle evolution scene in which it grows from Staravia to Star Raptor to win a battle against Honchkrow. This bird will always take a hit to make the play. Number 8, Charizard. From its modest start as Ash's cute and lonely Charmander, Ash quickly lost the handle on this teenage rebel when it evolved into Charmeleon and could barely convince it to save his life as it became a fully grown Charizard. A core member of Ash's team ever since, Charizard was always a bit of a throwaway competitively due to its four times weakness to rock, that is until it took a prominent step forward in the Pokemon world with the introduction of Mega Evolutions, receiving two Mega Forms for trainers to choose from. Sure, we don't always associate him with being a flying type since he wasn't one initially, but we couldn't help but give him a shout out on this list. Number 7, Crobat. Remember how much you loved seeing these guys in their base forms in caves? Neither do we. But if you put in the hard work, the annoying Zubat will turn into this speed demon. Boasting similar speed to Aerodactyl, this poisonous bat can make quick work of its opponents. One of the better Pokemon that one could evolve by increasing the friendship stat. The best example of this could be seen with Brock's Golbat, whose friendship over the series transformed it into Crobat. As we often see in the Pokemon world, friendship always prevails. What's going on with Golbat? Number 6, Salamence. Now Salamence, Dragon Claw! <laughs> This Pokemon proves that you can really judge a book by its cover. Salamence looks as fierce as it is powerful. It boasts dominant stats, dragon flying type, a strong move pool, as well as a mega evolution. Salamence plays a few roles in the series, such as being the mount for the villainous Pokemon hunter, Jay. Someone's riding it! Because of its role as an iconic flying dragon since the third generation, as well as its dominant mega evolution form, there is no surprise this monster makes our list. Number 5, ho -Oh. <laughs> 
Ho-Oh is a particularly iconic Pokemon on the list, as it appeared to Ash in the first episode of the series and has inspired his journey ever since. What's that? Ho -Oh. Ho -Oh is a legendary Pokemon, and as such it packs fearsome stats and an extremely useful ability called Regenerator. It's considered the master of the three legendary beasts, as well as being the counterpart to Lugia. As far as well-known birds go, it's hard to match Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh used its rainbow-colored shining power to restore the three Pokemon that perished in the fire. Number 4, Rayquaza. Ban this beast. Rayquaza has no regard for fair play, as its typing stats and moves are all overpowered, and we haven't even talked about its Mega Evolution. Mega Rayquaza is strong in every regard, that in many competitive environments it is fully banned. Its dominance owes to the role that it plays in the Pokemon Pantheon. Rayquaza is the master of the Weather Trio along with Groudon and Kyogre, and its extreme power is the only thing that prevents them from subjugating the world into an apocalyptic war of the elements. It's good to know that this monster is out there patrolling the skies. Number 3, Lugia. Boasting incredible defense stats, psychic flying typing, and the ability multi-scale, this legendary bird is incredibly hard to take out. Its role in the Pokemon world is also iconic, in no small part due to the baby Lugia known as Silver that Ash met in Johto. I knew it. Yeah, this is a Lugia. A Lugia? Who could possibly resist an adorable legendary Pokemon? Lugia also plays an important role in Pokemon lore, as it is considered Guardian of the Sea and Master of the First Generation Legendary Birds. <laughs> Number 2, Pidgeot. Alright, Pidgeot, you must attack now! <laughs> Where Pidgeot lacks in stats, it makes up in brand name recognition. This bird is the original flying type, at least according to anyone born before 1997. The first flying normal type found in the Generation 1 Pokedex, Pidgeot is the most similar Pokemon to the common pigeon. Pidgeot, finish it with Whirlwind Attack! <laughs> While it may not be gifted with stellar stats, it did receive a Mega Evolution, providing a niche for it as a speedy special attacker. And who could forget Ash's Pidgeot, which evolved while saving him from a flock of Pharaohs before leaving him to watch over the other Pidgeys and Pidgeotos. Is anyone else waiting for that big return? Number 1, The Legendary Birds At the top spot we have the first generation legendary trio, Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres. Not only are these the most iconic flying type Pokemon, they are also iconic examples of their second typings, Ice, Electric and Fire. These birds paved the way for later legendary trios with their identical base stats, shared primary typing, and status as being equal among themselves in Pokemon lore. While they may not actually be equal in competitive play, as Articuno and Moltres both share a crippling 4 times weakness to rock, nothing has stopped the three from capturing the imagination of fans since their debut in the original games and series. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.